The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 547, some of us enjoying the scattered snow squalls that we had last night and early this morning. That including Hank here in freeze. Uh, little guy looks like he's enjoying a little bit of snow out there. That's our picture of the day sent to us through pin it on WSLS.com slash pins. Now radar shows what looks like widespread snow. I can tell you it's not within this blue blob it is really just kind of scattered streaks of snow flurries that continue to die from northwest to southeast throughout the New River Valley. That's where we have a number of school closings and delays. Those listed on WSLS.com road conditions improving by midday. Through midday, most of the snow is going to target the west facing slopes will stay breezy at times throughout the afternoon and throughout the evening, though the wind today is not going to be quite as strong as what it was yesterday. Then as we head into the overnight, the wind calms down and temperatures drop to about 18 to 24 degrees. Very cold start for us heading into Wednesday morning as high pressure regains control of our weather. So that's going to make the mornings cold. The afternoons a little milder and it's going to keep the sky clear through at least Thursday, if not into Friday, but things will start to change as we get closer to the weekend as we're kind of in this weekly cyclical pattern where the weekend tends to be when we see our rain chances by Christmas Eve could see a few stray showers, but it looks like Christmas Day holds the better chance as this storm system tries to get a little bit closer. Not going to be a white Christmas. We'll just see some rain out there. Christmas Eve temperatures in the lower 50s ditto for Christmas Day. Maybe some rain, especially later on in the day on Christmas, but the timing still a little up in the air. Polar opposite, though, from what we saw last year. Remember that Christmas Eve 2022 was the coldest on record with highs in the teens and 20s. This time around, it's back to average with high temps mostly in the 50s. So make sure you're staying updated with our free weather app. That's also where we're sending out alerts on road conditions this morning. So we'll keep you posted on there throughout the morning and throughout the week. New River Valley highs today in the 30s, tomorrow in the teens, 40s for high temperatures. 53 on the first day of winter. That's Thursday. Then the rest of the way through high temps about 51 to 52. You see maybe a stray shower this weekend with a slightly better chance on Christmas Day. Again, that is all going to be rain. Roanoke Valley 30s today, though the wind adding a little insult to injury. Thankfully, temperatures rise a little bit, and the irony there is that the first day of winter is the warmest of the next seven with a high of about 57. Highs 50 to 55 throughout the holiday weekend. Again, a few stray showers Christmas Eve, slightly better chance arriving by Christmas Day.